Welcome to Pathwave Instrument RPA Video Guide. We will walk through the basics of Pathwave Instrument RPA. A project is an RPA virtual workbench. Remember, projects are saved automatically. Start by selecting an active project. Or just use the default active project name. A connection is a remote connection to an instrument or DUT. You can connect via RDP, VNC, URL, or EXE. In this walkthrough, we will connect to an oscilloscope using RDP. Key in the connection information. You have the flexibility to enter additional information. Or just the bare minimum, your choice depending on your unique needs. We have made our first connection. Drag the RPA toolbar to a location best suited for you. We will now create a session with the oscilloscope. A session is a short recording of your interactions with a connection. And our building blocks to build workflows. RPA records your interactions with a connection. Through its remote UI-driven interface, RPA does not need any coding to drive measurement setups. In this simple example, we are resetting the oscilloscope to its default state. Save session dialog box pops out, once recording is stopped. You can replay or discard the session without saving. We just created our first session. Note the session name at the left-hand corner. That is the last session we saved, and is the active session. Let us create another session. RPA Toolbar 2 informs you that recording is in progress. In this session, we are disabling Channel 1 and enabling Channel 2. A connection can have as many sessions as you need. Sessions are automatically bound to the active project. Roll your cursor over the session name to view the session's description. You may also search within the session name box. Sessions can be playback via RPA toolbar. In this session playback example, we are setting the scope back to its default state. RPA toolbar provides status of RPA playback. Press escape anytime to abort playback. We just completed our first session playback. Let us set the scope to a random state in preparation for our next walkthrough. Workflow is a modified or augmented version of sessions. You create workflow by stitching together sessions. Select your sessions from the drop-down menu. Roll over your mouse cursor over the session to read the description. Drag and drop the blocks and edit variables, in accordance to your unique requirements to meet your objectives. Save your workflow once you are satisfied. If you save over an existing workflow, RPA will warn you and you can decide on the next step. In this walkthrough, we will save to a new workflow. You can always opt to use the default workflow name. Description is optional and entirely up to you. We just created our first workflow. The active workflow is listed in the workflow box at the left-hand corner. Playback of workflow is via RPA toolbar. We had started playback for the active workflow. This workflow consists of the two sessions we stitched together earlier. The first session resets the scope to its default state. The second session disables channel 1 and enables channel 2. RPA toolbar provides status of RPA playback. Press escape anytime to abort playback. We just completed our first workflow playback. Scan this QR code and accelerate your journey towards intelligent automation solutions.